So I've got to take the alloy somewhere else, but I just, for the cans and bottles, $19.20. Definitely, you can do this as a fucking income, 100%. So I've got this much just from one street. Just from, just that corner there, that car, these bins. <laughs> Still got streets of gold. Look at this, a Nike box, big tub. Look at here. We've got some white bloody isolate bra, 100% bra. Got some nice ones, mate. What size is it wearing? Zoom structure. Look at this drink. It's like 700 mil energy drink, caffeine drink. About 300 milligrams of caffeine. <laughs> Fucking hell. Crush the caffeine addiction. Just carve the fuck up. Got a good setup here. It's the best area in LA. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You almost recognise the bins. Yep. How much each? Which streets, which bins around the area. I know which, which, which are good and which are bad. Yeah, do you work every day or? Uh, not quite, but close. Yeah. I do six, six nights a week. Yeah, nice. And I do all these to tub Yeah. Yeah, sick, sick. How much do you get a get a shift? You reckon? Well, eighty depends. bucks. Oh no, more. Yeah. Depends on where I do it. What's the most you got in a week? Oh, one night. Yeah. This area, hundred ninety-four dollars. Hundred ninety-four bucks. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for coming. <laughs> I've done, I've done hundred and fifty a couple of times. Hundred ninety-four. Yeah, nice. Man, it's easy money. Some people even just leave it on top of the bin for you. I have to collect, boom, and I just crush them. Easy. Look at this. Clean them up. Clean them up. Clean them up. I've got too much fucking bottles in my space. Fifth leg. I need a fifth trailer to carry all this money back. Look at this. Look at all this money. Oh, wow. Crazy. We've got another $18.80. Let's get some more. Let's get some more. Here's a good example. Heaps of wine. Heaps of wine. Drink Coke Zero though. Don't drink Coke because it's got sugar in it. So don't have any sugar and just fucking have wine instead. Fry your kidneys instead. <laughs> Carve the fuck up. This one. Someone's been busy drinking, haven't they? <laughs> Too easy, no. Fucking cold hard cash. All the bins have dried up. Time to go home. So that was just my second morning out on the bike with the trailer. I uh, if I had a better setup, I was, there's a few guys in town who run running better setups. They have big panties in the side and they just can crank it. I'm going to go right back into town today and have a look at how they've actually fitted it up on their bikes. I'm going to run that setup. So you could definitely make, if you've got the real flow going, thousand bucks a week. You know, if you've got the flow going, understood the time schedules of the bins, how when they get cleaned. Keep an eye out for looking stuff that's been dumped, or whatever. It's definitely a thousand bucks a week you can make from collecting trash in Adelaide, Radelaide, South Australia. So if you're a backpacker looking for work, come down to Radelaide, go through the bins, recycle it, make sure it does get recycled. There's a bit of a debate on whether some of the stuff does actually get recycled in the council bins. Council says it does. Some people work at the council say it doesn't. It just goes to landfill. Depends on what's going on. But you know if it's getting dropped off at the recycling depot, you can see it getting put in the big boxes of stuff. So it's definitely getting recycled there. So it's a little bit of a debate there. But hey, if you want to work, there's fucking work for you. And it's called collecting recyclables, cans and bottles in South Australian bins. And it's there. And there's just so much going on, man. Even in the red bins, people just chucking it to landfill. You know, so it's crazy what we're doing in the environment. Crazy how much stuff we throw out. So there you go. If you want to live a thousand bucks a week and you're willing to work and you don't have qualifications for whatever, you can't read and write or whatever, or you don't want to do other stuff, you want to be out on your bike burning calories, getting paid to be a professional cyclist, thousand bucks a week, Adelaide, South Australia, I've shown you it can be done. I made 60 bucks on my second ever morning. But once you learn the flow, it's like, it's like being a surfer. You might go out and there's no waves, but once you learn the tides and the swells and everything, you learn the, the party festive season. Apparently in the summer it goes up because alcohol consumption goes up. People just piss beers thrown everywhere. <laughs> yes, thanks. Chuck them in the back of the bike. Let's rock and roll. 
You don't even need a bike. The guy's got a fucking trolley. I would recommend the bike because you get better exercise and work faster and harder. But this guy made an obese man. He's a friendly guy. A beast man smoker made $194. So if you're a young guy or girl who's fit and can ride a bike, I'm sure you could make more than $194. If an obese, overweight smoker pushing a trolley can make $194, you could probably make four to $500 because you can work faster and harder. Just putting it out there, not hating on anyone. It's interesting, though, that most people wouldn't do it because of the stigma. Going through a bin, I don't know. But they're happy to sit in their ass and complain, I can't afford $2 a kilo for organic rice, or I can't afford a $30 e-book, or I can't afford a $500 flight to, to Thai Fruit for us to Lord. Do what you want to do. I'm just putting the options out there. Putting the options out there, because I walk my fucking talk. <laughs> Do you want to buck in the bench where he belongs to me? What happened to it, Rona? Didn't you sell enough e-books? Oh, look, I've got an entry for you. You little Weasley cunt.